Hey guys, Two Dogs here, and I wanted to talk to you today about uh, a new buffer spring that I picked up for my AR, and it's actually brought to you by David Tubbs, uh, AR-15 Flower Buffer Spring, his company, Superior Shooting Systems, and uh, I, I need some feedback from the experts out there around the advantages of this flat wire as opposed to the regular round wire in your in your buffer spring. I mean, basically, what he's saying is um, is that with this design, the 177 PF flat wire design, it improves consistency of the spring throughout its working life, right? And they're saying they've done 500,000 compression cycles through the spring, and this is actually changing the the compression load itself less than two percent so that means that it pushes all the way down right and pushes the the bolt curve group back so the, only two percent has changed over a half a million <laughs> uh you know right compressions of this thing so um i'm going to put that in and, and i'm going to shoot it and test it out uh, this video is not really on the steps on how to do that um there's just a little pin in here that you have to push out to get the existing spring in there out. We don't really need to, to focus on that, but as you can see, you know, this is the, the one that comes with my, I have a, a, a an LMT Defender 2000, and this is what came with it. You can see the vast differences right away in just the, the size. Let me move this out of the way so you can see, right, the length as well. Um, but obviously that's a flat wire and this is a round wire and they're saying that this thing can lose compression 7% on the first couple of shots so you know I don't know on that I need some expert advice on this so one thing you can't see in the recording uh, itself is that you know these there's a, a nice lubrication already on the spring a lot of guys will say that's an advantage um, so I've just tapped that on there we're gonna put it back in it's obviously a lot longer, but I'm excited to see how this works out. I will let you guys know. I will definitely shoot this. So it's already back in there, and you know you can feel that it's a lot. It's got more play to it, and it's much. It's just the strength they talk about on the flyer here that there's a percentage of increase on the pressure against the bolt carrier group once there's a round in the chamber. So. I'm excited to see how this works and fires out, but all right, so let's take a look at how that buffer spring actually works. Let me throw one of my uppers on here real quick, and we can actually see if can we actually tell if there's truly something of a difference, right? So basically what I'm going to do is just initiate if there were a round in the chamber here, and the first thing I'm going to do pointing in a safe direction. Obviously this is unloaded. You just saw me put it together. So I can actually feel a complete difference when I'm pulling back on my CH. You can just feel that there's a lot more tension in here and that sucker is pushing that bolt carrier group forward getting that round in there more quickly. Right? So I can hold down the trigger as I pull back and get that in the camera. I can. That section right there, that pull is much more solid than the spring that came with it. Now maybe I just had a bad buffer spring, I don't know, um, but I can feel the difference in here right now. So obviously the true test is uh, firing it, but right away I can feel that that tension, it's going to push. Now online it says that there's about a 10% more pressure shooting that bolt carrier group back in, loading that next round. I don't know. Math is math. I don't have one of those machines you can hook up. I'll post a link that where a guy is actually doing some testing. He's you know professional. But for me, I thought, hey, for $24, I got to give this thing a shot. Okay? Stay tuned. Thanks, guys.